Just got finished reading the book Hole by T. Colin Campbell, author of The China Study. If you haven't read that book, I think both are really worth checking out. If you have read China Study, I think you're going to love this book. I think anybody interested in uh, plant-based nutrition or nutrition at all should be uh, interested in reading this book. Um, if I had some people kind of criticize it because they're like, oh, that's about cooked food, it's not about raw food. It really doesn't get into cooked versus raw too much. And in fact, T. Colin Campbell recommends an 80-10-10 diet ratio. I think, I think if you're into 80-10-10, this is even more important because it really gets into the concept of whole foods versus all these refined and refractionated and reductionist types of approaches to nutrition. And that's what 80-10-10 really is all about, that it's not, you know, X number of special nutrients, like, doing special things for you. It's a whole, you know, rigmarole, like, um, just combination of all these different nutrients acting in concert that we can't really wrap around our heads around how individual nutrients do what they do. Like, they talked about a study where even though there was less vitamin C in apples than there were in this vitamin C concentrate, when they looked at the effect of apples, it had 263 times the effect uh, of the, vi the vitamin C process that just pure vitamin C has. So they know that there are like other vitamins in there kind of doing vitamin C's job in addition to vitamin C that we don't really know what they are yet. So it's kind of foolish to think that just vitamin C does the whole job. And so he really gets into how most people in the world today think in this like reductionist mindset, this I can reduce nutrition down to these specific, the vitamin A and the vitamin B and the vitamin C and the vitamin D and the vitamin E and the, the protein and, 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 and the calcium and just basically like go off those and uh, create health and, and create results with like these multivitamins or if you just take your calcium supplement you know you'll beat osteoporosis but it's like it's not that it's not that simple because it's like if you're creating an acid condition in the body with acid forming foods and your body's gonna the parathyroid hormones gonna have to secrete parathyroid oh, the parathyroid gland's gonna create parathyroid hormone to offset the calcium and basically mobilize calcium out of your bones to offset the acidity condition in the body, you'll never get enough calcium, right? You don't actually need very much if you're eating an alkaline diet because your body doesn't have to use up its stores all the time to offset the acidity. So that's just one part of holistic uh, nutrition. Uh, so the book basically looks at how like science has become so out of whack being driven by profits to look for these like reductionist, oh, we got to find the nutrient that does this. And it's like the drug that suppresses this symptom. And we get so caught up in these tiny details that nobody looks at the big picture. And the thing is, in science, looking at the big picture these days is like stigmatized. Like you're going on a fishing expedition or it's a shotgun approach if you look at the big picture. And so a lot of this research just gets blown off and never gets funded, never gets published, and you can make a career out of doing it. And so he really goes into how, you know, the system is basically broken, and um, it's kind of a frustrating read almost, because you're like, damn, you know, why are people so stupid, and like, why is so science, science so stuck up and stubborn in its ways, and don't they realize they're like, not, like there's no, no progress made, people are getting sicker and sicker and sicker, and the obesity rates and cancer rates and disease rates keep going up and we have more cures but less results when you look at the, no we look at the big picture to see oh we have all these drugs but like people are like worse off than ever and so it, it's pretty frustrating but he explains where the mechanisms of it there's no really like any like conspiracy or like overall nefarious um, forces at work it's more of just like subtle influences of, of profit kind of just end up skewing things and end up the, the right kind of research can't get funded or published. And so at the end, it's just sort of a call to action that like we're not going to affect this from the top down. You know, we're not going to get Obama to like sign plant-based nutrition into law or like get, you know, drug companies to do anything different. Like 
it's not going to happen from the top down. It's got to happen from the bottom up. It's got to be grassroots. It's got to be people like you and me and people you know and people you have an influence on and people I have an influence on. I hope I have some influence on you to change things. And that's what's going on. That's what's happening now. More and more people are, are figuring it out. They're waking up and realizing, you know, <laughs> everything we're doing, people are unhealthier than ever and it's not working this whole like fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, whole grains and legumes thing, like might be worth a shot, you know? And then they do it and it works and they become evangelical and they spread the message and then people see what we got. People see how well we're doing and how well they're not doing and say, I'm gonna give this a try because there's no club you gotta buy into, there's no membership fees, you just go to the grocery store and you buy the foods and you don't buy the bad foods, and that's how it all works. So um, definitely worth reading the book. Uh, very frustrating throughout the entire thing, but then at the end when it wraps it all up, it's very inspiring. So um, yeah, highly, highly recommend this reading this book. If you don't, if you're not like a reader, uh, I feel sorry for you. Go get the audio book. But really, I think it would be in your best interest to start reading more books, especially ones like this. Adios.